like some picking, babe. Slim pickings. Hey, everybody. Hi, friends. Texas Barbecue is the month. Yes. That was Texas Barbecue, the name of the song. Yes, we are. <sighs> Kathy and Eddie. I'm Kathy. This is my hubby, Eddie. You're at Spicy Cat Jams, and it is time for an unboxing. We have the May My Texas Market. And the theme is... Backyard barbecue. Backyard barbecue. Ooh. Perfect timing. Here you go. Thank you. My Texas Market. I will have the information down below if you're interested in subscribing. It is a monthly subscription box. Everything comes from the lovely state of Texas. And you do receive a bunch of information giving you the detail of the products. Considering that this is Texas barbecue, even the wrap, kind of like the, you know, picnic table co yep, uh, cover. That's that. pretty cool. Well, These, those guys are creative. I tell you what, they know what they're doing. So let's start off. First thing we're having at our backyard barbecue is you gotta have something to drink. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, what goes good with barbecue? Tea. Tea, tea, tea. Peach paradise. A fully, a fruity, smooth, aromatic, and sweet herbal blend. Contains peach pieces, apple pieces, hibiscus blossoms, elderberries, rosehip peel, flavor, passion fruit, and sunflower. Here are the ingredients. <laughs> peach pieces, apple pieces, hibiscus, basically everything that I've mentioned. <laughs> and all of that, ones that you know what they are and have been understood. I think that's one of the best things I like about Texas Market. Just about everything that they send us. Is, is just more natural ingredients that mm -hmm. you can find, you know, and not have to, you know, cut your tongue off just to pronounce or, you know, so. Uh, White Cloud World Tea, World Teas is what it is. Peach Paradise. Very nice. Next at the barbecue. Smoke on the Barbie Barbecue Blend. Now, I got a little confession here. It doesn't focus in well. I know it's the new. I'm not. I don't. The new camera. It's a, it's a new camera, so you know, bear with us. Um, I opened this. I knew kind of had what was going on. Uh, and uh, oh, I gotta fix my hat. <laughs> oh yes, heaven forbid oh, the hat be askew. <laughs> um, I wanted to try out some of this stuff just to see how it's like, and um, I think you still have the footage. I do. I will insert it. Yeah, we'll put in some footage of, uh, uh, of uh, the pork butt that I made, and I used this, and just mm -hmm. only this. The only other ingredients I put in was uh, a sliced onion and um, what I use for the juicing uh, to keep it moist, and I, I, I think it came out pretty good. It was wonderful. We forgot to film the actual eating of yeah. the pork butt, but it was very good. I liked it. It was nothing very overpowering. just had a nice, mellow good flavor. Spice. So it was good. Hey, guys. Here's what I started doing. We got some nice Vidalia onions. And then uh, what I did was chop them up. Is I'll just throw them on the bottom. And then I'll grab, I always like chicken broth. It doesn't matter what kind of meat it is. I always think chicken broth has a, has a nice flavor to it because it's pretty good. And I'll just throw in a can in there. This is my choice of meat. It's pork butt roast, which is, I, I, always liked it it's always good we have some of our own which is a beef roast which is a very thin that we get personally from a a farmer and uh, it's very lean good but it's frozen so and I I don't have time I need to get back on the road tomorrow night and so this is thawed out ready to go tomorrow morning we'll be having some good eats so anyways mm, a man and his meat right Kathy that's right that's right no guts, no glory. Mr. Nuts... <laughs> Kathy, tell Mr. Nuts... <laughs> Kathy, tell Mr. No Guts, No Glory he has a protege. <laughs> Here it is. It's already uh, uh, tied up and everything. There's the meaty part. That's about the biggest part of the fat. There's a little bit more right here, but I like to put the fat up because that's where the good flavor is. 
and I'm going to take a quick break, wash my hands, because we always got to be sanitary, and we'll be right back. Uh, so here's what I'm going to, I got some more onions chopped up. We love onions, by the way, and it's always good. And uh, what I'm going to do is grab some of the rub. Let me see it. Ooh, good. Focusy. There, oh, big chunks of spice. Way better than your yeah. jar, or can jarred. <laughs> and the thing is, one thing I smelled right away is the paprika. And it's not just a regular paprika, it's a smoked paprika. Or Spanish paprika also. Uh, Spanish paprika, for some of you, it has, when I cook like this, I always like using Spanish paprika because it adds a nice smoky flavor. And that comes from the Spanish paprika. This has got smoked paprika, it's the same thing. It's Spanish paprika, you can find it in any aisle. Um, and uh, it, it gives it a nice smoke flavor and you don't even need a smoker you just put it in your crock pot and, but just make sure that you when you first use it if you never use it go easy on it because it can be overwhelming and then just go from there so and uh, well I don't measure as Kathy can tell you I just go by sight I've always learned how to cook by sight what looks good and uh, yeah and you're going wow he's putting on a lot but we got to remember we got a big chunk here that's way more than I to put on which is why my food is always bland so yeah so now that we got all that on uh, I like to grab some onions and uh, I don't know just because we love onions <laughs> did I mention that <laughs> and um, it adds more flavor, heats it up, it gets both ends, and, and that's about it. Uh, I'm not going to add any of my other special seasonings because usually I just grab whatever I think looks good and I'll throw it in there and it always comes out good. But I'm just going to go off of this and we're just going to go that way. No salt, nothing else in there. Everything's in here. So we're going to cover it up. I got mine on high for six hours. And then, but our crock pot, after six hours, automatically timer goes into a warm, and then we just leave it sit overnight. And by the next morning, oh, mm -mm, pull apart good. So, see you later. Oh, now we got some Kelly's Baking Company. What is that? Oh, this we need to open and eat immediately. We forgot. <laughs> what is it? It's a brownie. It's oh. a mason jar brookie. Mm. Let's hope it's not because we are a little late filming this. Huh. Well, those are marshmallows, so look at this. Oh, it smells good. We might need to pause and go get a uh, spoon. So this was made in here. Um... Since they couldn't send us an apple pie, they sent us the brookie. It's made with a dark chocolate and coffee brownie, baked with a buttery chocolate chip cookie, then layered with marshmallows, drizzled with caramel and chocolate, sprinkled with cookie crumbs, and kissed with a ton touch of pink sea salt. Hey, we're back! The spoon. spoon! Eddie doesn't want any, but this is like, chocolate. it's actually the chocolate chip cookie on top. So I'm going to dive in. A little hard. <laughs> it's a hard brownie. It's a hard brownie. Or because we. <laughs> oh, there it go. I've never eaten a brownie out of a little mason jar. I wonder how it's made. They must make it right in here, I'm assuming. Huh. Or they just pile it all in the pieces. It's good. There you go. Lots of flavors, all that stuff I told you. Yep, it's in here. Again, I'm not much of a chocolate person. And, uh, Too bad. She's going to take a second help, and that's my taste testing right there. That's well, I'm done. just making sure. There you go. Look at that. I haven't made it down to the brownie part. I've just gotten to the cookie, but it's good. I'll have it later. All right. Oh, yeah, I know this. This here... There's a little bag, and 
Larry's bag of smoke barbecue <laughs> wood chips. How do they package a bag of smoke? Oh, barbecue wood chips. Oh, I'm not a barbecue. Simple to use. Uh, long, no long soaking, one to two minutes. Come on. Outdoor barbecue grills, charcoal, gas, and electric. You see. So it's basically for outdoor use uh, to give your food that smoky flavor. It's pretty good. What? Did you want to smell it? Lily needed to get some attention, yeah. so I had to pick her up. So, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, Larry's Bag of Smoke Barbecue Wood Chips. Okay. So you put that on the barbecue, like your grill, your gas grill. You, can you use it on a gas grill or not? Yeah, yeah you can use it on a gas grill. You gotta soak it a little bit, and depending on how you use it, uh, charcoal, gas, and electric, you just gotta see the directions on how to use it, which is on the back here. Okay. Uh, it tells you how to use them, you know, for each one because, uh, you know, if you use like a gas grill, then uh, some of them require, like, you put it in a pan with a little bit of water just enough to get it smoking. And uh, in a charcoal, you put it out to the side and let that smoky flavor get into the. It all depends on how a person's preference is. Okay. So. All right. Moving on. Oh. I see something that I would like. I don't think Cassie would. Oh, yeah. Texas Triple Threat Mustard. I'm not a mustard fan. Triple Threat because it's three flavors. Spice? Mixed into one. Yeah. What are those three flavors? Oh, my goodness. Grapefruit, habanero, and tequila. In mustard. Maybe I would like this mustard. And here are the ingredients for this one. Mustard seed, vinegar, grapefruit, tequila, water, honey, habanero peppers, salt, and citric acid. Simple. It's just a nice little spread. Uh, all natural, no preservatives, no gluten, no HFGS. Whatever. High fructose corn syrup. Oh, or HFCS. High fructose corn syrup. Thank you. I work in the food industry. <laughs> the sippy mustard will delight your senses with a gentle heat that rolls down your tongue to your sinuses and back. <laughs> gentle, <laughs> yes. I might, I sometimes like, um, if it's not, just like yellow mustard is not, I don't care for it, but sometimes those gourmet ones, I'll like dip pretzels in it or something. And you can use it for whatever, you know, meats, burgers, sausages, pretzels, uh, even a nice... A nice ham sandwich. So, that's pretty cool. That's a, obviously a full size. That's a big size. Yeah, it's a nice size. I like that. Got one more. Ooh, I wonder how this would work making deviled eggs. Ooh, I do like oh, mustard and deviled yeah, eggs. Yes. With some kick. That would be pretty good. I know we've done deviled eggs with uh, avocados. Yep, you mix the avocado yeah. in with the And, and you egg. smash it out, and that comes out pretty good. I, I really like that. A lot of people have liked that. Uh, if you get some of that avocado and mix some of this, a little kick in it, oh, mm. that would, that'd be pretty good. I think we got something to try. Last one. Bug repellent. I could use that. My ankles got bit up this week. Well, it's kind of hard to see. I don't really want to open it because otherwise it starts to... Yeah, no, you don't have to open it. It looks like it's a little stick. You can just hold it up yeah, back Just here. like a little push-up stick. Yeah, almost like a little deodorant, but it's not a deodorant. So it must go on like a balm. Contains, I'm going to have to look to the side here to get better lighting. Deep free. Cocoa butter, beeswax, coconut, and uh, cotton oils. No. Citronella and castor, clove oil. Castor oils. <laughs> Citronella, peppermint, clove, and eucalyptus oils. Sorry, it's castor, oh. not cotton. Castor oh. oils. I was reading on here, so that's why yeah, I was so. like. <laughs> so there again, even this is all natural, which is pretty cool. And I, I imagine a lot of those mixed together has nice odor that uh, will deter the the skeeters away. Yeah. So, or as we like to call them in Minnesota, the state bird. Yeah, we get some big ones up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Well, that was a fun barbecue market. We already know the smoke rub is good and the brookie's good. And yeah, it's all fun stuff we can use. So Yeah, exactly. This is good stuff. I really enjoyed it. So We like it. There if you go. If you're interested, like I said, I'll have the link down below. Um, comment if you get this. We've been getting it, I don't know, five months or so now. Yeah, I think we've it's always what... enjoyed it. Very well worth it. Yeah, we really like it. The value is usually a close to what you pay for it, so it's not a box where you're going to get like a big return of on your value or on your investment, but um, just the uniqueness, and you'll always at least get the the price. So yeah, we like it. So. Okay. All right. Well, hey, we'll see you in a little bit because we've got another one to do. <laughs> Bye, guys. Doesn't say if there's actual blue bonnet in there, but it's a handmade soap. Nice spring Strong. flowery. Damn it, that hair is still there. <laughs> Stop moving. There, I think I got it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> was it bothering you? You didn't see it like yeah, in your first one? I was fine with it. All right. Ooh, I see a bee beeswax. Mind your own beeswax candle. Company. That's the name of the company, Mind Your Own Beeswax? Hey, is that what it says in the card? That's the name of the company. There you go. I like it. They're a little snarky.